morning everyone. It's 6.57 and I'm getting a really late start to the day because I don't have anything starting until past seven. So I am gonna be doing cath lab today. So I figured it was the perfect opportunity to hang out with you guys here for the next 24 hours or so. So that is what we are going to do. All right, so I'm now here um, in the hospital, changed my scrubs, got to see a cool uh, emergency air ambulance take off as I was walking in. And I'm getting ready to start my first case of the day, which is gonna be a TEE, which is a transesophageal echocardiogram. Sometimes in order to see parts of the heart that we can't see when the probe is external on the chest, we need to do something from the inside through the esophagus. And it's really cool because there's an ultrasound probe that goes into the esophagus and actually can look at the heart from behind it. And so we can see things, for example, if we're looking for blood clots that are caused by atrial fibrillation, before we're going to fix the atrial fibrillation, we need to make sure there's no blood clots there that might get pushed out into various parts of the body causing problems once we fix the atrial fibrillation, if that makes sense. So that's what my job is today, is to make the patient comfortable for this long probe to be inserted into their mouth. Generally, that means that I'm gonna give them some IV anesthesia and they'll have an oxygen mask. And because of all this, uh, we have in the COVID thing, even though patients are tested now, we have to kind of still wear N95 and uh, goggles. I've got my goggles here and um, gowns and boot, like boot covers and stuff. So I'm gonna go get ready to do that. A little bit later now, actually it's 10.32 and I've done one cardioversion, one TE, and now I'm gonna do another cardioversion. Cardioversion is converting a patient from atrial fibrillation back into sinus rhythm. It's from my gown. And then what we are doing now is gonna be a cardioversion and that's because I think the patient's been on blood thinners for a long enough time that it wasn't indicated to do a TE. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the specifics are yet because I haven't met the patient, but so we're gonna do that. And then I think my caseload may be done, so I'm gonna probably take over another area of the hospital or start supervising maybe CRNAs in another part of the hospital. I'm not really sure yet. Um, if there's nothing for me to do, then I will just go around and giving breaks, like lunch breaks or morning breaks, depending on the time period. So that's that. I always like it up in cath lab because the people here are so lovely, so nice. I really enjoy it. Patients are um, on the sicker side, which helps keep your skills up. This is one of my colleagues' bags. <laughs> We've been sharing this little conference room as our place to like come back and like drink water and I guess vlog in between cases. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And then soon it'll be lunchtime and then Soon it will be the three o'clock shift change when I will probably go take over somebody else's room who leaves at three o'clock because I leave at five o'clock. And then I'll go home and that'll be most of the week done because it's already Wednesday. I've hit that like mid-morning slump where it's like not quite lunch, but I've already had breakfast this morning. And something you may not know about anesthesia is just how active a job it is. But before we talk about how active the job and the world of anesthesia is, I wanted to thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Teamy. I have teamed up with them in the past, no pun intended. <laughs> Their amazing new chocolate powder protein. It's so good. I've been using this for, I would say it's been a while because of the quarantine. I've had it for a while and used it for a while. I wanna say four to six weeks. Um, and I really like it as a nice pick-me-up. So what I've been using it with is just some milk. Sometimes I'll actually blend some bananas, especially if they're on the sweeter side, they're getting a little bit ripe. I've just been throwing them into a little smoothie. Harper loves it because it's so chocolatey, but it's really filling. So it actually gets her some good protein, which as you know, can be a little bit difficult to get into your toddler's diet sometimes. Sometimes she just sees me drinking this chocolatey drink and she wants a sip and I know that it's good for her. So thank you so much to Team 
Jamie for sponsoring today's video. You can check out the link in the description box to get a discount off your first order at Teamy. Thank you so much to Teamy for sponsoring today's video. As I mentioned, it can be a pretty physically demanding job. I come home frequently with aches, pains, soreness, muscle soreness, and quite often I develop bruises out of nowhere because as I said, I, I'm just so physically active, like bending over and reaching around patients' beds, pushing patients' beds and stretchers, sometimes having to react very quickly in the operating room to a sudden change um, due to the surgery or the anesthetic. So I just get knocked around a lot <laughs> and I come home from work so dead on my feet sometimes. Like sometimes I can have like the busiest days where I don't even have a minute to catch my breath, let alone eat. Um, and then there are days like today that kind of balance it out and make it a little bit more tolerable because I can sit down, have my water, talk to you guys, plan some content, and that part is honestly well, well received. <laughs> All right, the cardio version is done, and now I'm going to head downstairs to join my colleagues in the time-honored tradition of eating in the doctor's cafeteria. Uh, of course, maintaining social distancing because they've removed like three quarters of all the chairs, which is good. So I'm gonna go do that now because it's about 11, no, sorry, 12 o'clock. It's about 12 o'clock now. And so I'm definitely due for some lunch and I'll do that. And then I'll come head back up here and figure out what, uh, what I should do next now 2 30 and i have my assignment so i know where i'm going i'm gonna go relieve one of my fellow um, anesthesiologists in a weight loss i think it's actually is it a weight loss surgery room it is room nine i think that's a robot room so i'm gonna be going into a robot case and usually what we're doing there is hernias um general surgery bariatric surgery things like that so it looks like one of those cases is taking longer than three o'clock and so that's kind of when the workforce gets thinned out a little bit at three o'clock. So uh, most people go home at three because we come to the hospital so early that we don't have a nine to five job. We have a seven to three job, except for people like me who choose to work 10 hour days instead of eight hour days, because those four days of adding two hours per day means that I get eight hours extra in four days, which means that I take every single Friday off. And that is what enables me to spend time with Harper, run errands, and manage this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. So let's go ahead and head over to the operating room and relieve my colleague. We did not receive both garments. Please verify that the garment is not stuck. Okay, so that is my day done. I managed to spill an entire bottle of lidocaine on my scrub, but thankfully I had, you know, I was in the hospital scrub, so it wasn't too big of a deal. <laughs> I've got my assignment for tomorrow. I'm gonna be at a surgery center, and with one of my best friends in the group, and it's just gonna be a good day. Just like today, today was a good day too. I need to go home and kiss my baby. She has made it very difficult <laughs> to sleep lately because she has been having some nighttime awakenings. I'm not really sure what's going on, but we are tired parents right now. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home. Hi, Gagey. Hi, gorgeous. So now that I'm home and decontaminated, I'm gonna go ahead and decontaminate my phone and I recently purchased recently purchased a UV sterilization box. I will link this particular one down below if I can open it. Yes. So you can see it has like mirrored compartments and then I like this one because it had a bunch of UV light sources. So I'm just gonna place my phone in there. And then I'll go ahead and take off my Apple Watch and place that inside. 
and then make sure all these little flaps are closed or like little magnetic flaps go ahead and this takes three minutes and you can see push the button hmm. cool you can really get close That's cool. Cool. Cool shot, Christina. And I think my husband and child are outside, so I'm gonna go play with them. Okay, he's ready. Just give this one one more try. Because I think I was trying to show you guys and probably made my watch dump on top. So just want to make sure that gets a good accurate. And I can put this one back on. So this one is UVC, which is a special type of wavelength of UV light that helps kind of destroy bacteria and pathogens and it kind of breaks them down. So it's actually harmful for you. So that's why most of the UVC things that you're gonna see are kind of keeping you protected. Like you can't like bathe yourself in UVC, like it's not good for DNA, but um, that's that. And then now that I'm sanitized myself, I'm gonna put you on top of Vector, our little robot. I'm gonna put some of this on me. I really like this um, balm. It's like a moisturizing, thick, rich cream called Lipicar. It's for extra dry skin, body, and face, and it's safe for babies, children, and adults. So it's really good, I like it. I got it from the drugstore. And bonus, it's, it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. So Har myself and Harper greatly benefit from that. That's pretty much my day in a nutshell. So it's been 10 hours, it's now 5.42, and I woke up about 12 hours ago and have worked a 10 hour shift. I actually stayed late. I just got home maybe 20 minutes ago. I stayed late because um, I wanted to wake the patient up, so I went into the room at three o'clock, and oh, let me tell you a little story about it. Went into the room at three o'clock, it was a revision gastric bypass, ruin Y gastric bypass, and the way that that was really interesting is because I really like getting to participate in the surgery, so I like pass a bougie down and kind of advance it, retract it, advance it, retract it, and here comes my family, so it was really fun. I'm filming a day in the life, I'm just wrapping it up. This is the day you want. This is day in the life. Hey. Hi. Oh my no, no. God. Look at your I'm shoes. Sorry. Look at outside. your shoes. They're, They're so dirty. That's the whole point. We were in a Put a mud puddle? Mud puddle. Very nice. <laughs> Every girl needs to get a little dirty. Oh, where's my hug though? You sit in my lap. Where's my hug? Find a rocky road. What? 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 All right, we're getting rid of these boots. No more. What boots, those? You bought them. Oh. Look at this. You bought those boots. It does look stupid, but you need to wear socks with them, maybe. Oh. No. I think this is a sock. It's a, so it's a sock liner. It's a boot liner. You can take those off, I'm sure. Okay. Right? I guess. Are you okay? I'll give up. <laughs> How, where's my hug? How's my Harper? You can I have a hug? You're so beautiful. You've been wearing these pajamas for three days. Mm, thank you. <laughs> See the lips? Yeah, lips. See the lips. Mm, mm, beautiful. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous face. <laughs> Are you gonna take a bath with Papa today? Yeah. Okay. What color are your eyes? Um, blue. What color are Mama's eyes? Um, that blue. Yeah. What color are Papa's eyes? Blue. Yeah. So anyway, so it was a really good success, and I stayed late so that I could extubate the patient because I didn't want someone to come in and 15 minutes later extubate a patient. It's kind of the most uh, critical part, of, one of the most critical parts of anesthesia. So, figured I gotten to know the patient over two hours, so I just stay late and do it myself. So I did that. Also helps out with Look staffing. Look at baby girl. Look at baby girl. 
Who's that? <laughs> Does mama smell good? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, anybody you think might be interested in a video like this, I'd greatly appreciate it. We can help grow the channel. Thank you so much for watching, first of all, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.